Hmm. Rules. Classroom rules. Do we need them? But why? Well, we need classroom rules because if they ask us why they need to behave in a certain manner, we can simply say, well, because these are the rules and that is how it works, right? It's not me, not me being mean, nothing personal. These are the rules. And what I have found out is that quite surprisingly, this reason is usually good enough. So that is how classroom rules make our lives as teachers easier. So what kind of rules do we want? We want rules that are clear. We want rules that can be illustrated uh, with a simple gesture and reminded just with a simple gesture, quickly. And how many rules do we need? Well, we want no more than five, right? Five fingers, five rules. Each finger represents one. Why? Because more than this will be overwhelming. They will not forget, they will not remember, and we will start inventing too many rules. And we don't like too many rules. Just really sit down and focus, find, uh, choose your five rules that are important and that you think will make your life easier. So five rules is maximum. Also because we can carry them around with us. Uh, we go to a different classroom, we take our five rules with us, right? Mm, when do we introduce rules? That is another question. I've seen teachers devoting an entire lesson to, uh, to teaching rules. That was simply boring. It's too much and you cannot avoid using Polish, using your mother tongue. So, please, why don't you just introduce each rule in, in one lesson, devote a bit of time to this, play with that rule, explain it, and uh, then in the following lesson, uh, introduce the, the next one, remind the first, hey, what was the first rule? Uh, yeah, and then introduce the next one so that they can learn these rules by heart and they are always in the same order. Hey, remember rule number one? If someone is misbehaving, hey, remember rule number five? Yeah. Uh, and how do we introduce that? Please use English. Take it as an opportunity to to teach the language, to, to teach uh, communication. How? Well, simplify your language, use a lot of gestures, give examples, they will understand even uh, preschoolers, even primary school kids. Let me show you. Hmm. We need to put our hands up, okay? Zosia, if you want to say, hello, 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 Pani, no, 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 no. Okay? And also try to give the reason why, try to explain why we need that particular rule. Well, hmm. Franek says, "Hello, no, miss, oh, miss." So she, you say, "Oh, I want, I want, I want to go to the bathroom," and you say, "Yes, no, miss." Yeah, and you say something, and you say something, and you say something, and I, I don't know what you're saying. I don't understand. I'm just one, and you are one, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> I'm just one. So, and, okay, if you put your hand up, okay, now you can speak, I'm listening, okay, good. Uh, it was a bit theatrical, but you need to be theatrical when you speak with kids, when you teach them, right? Okay, so think about it and invent your own rules. Remember no more than five and don't introduce them at all at once and make a little bit of a game with it. Okay? Fun.